Hi, I'm Clinton. I'm Claude, and we're the Lamest Defenders. So for this week's news roundup, we have some exciting things based on a new Disney Plus show from Marvel, and then also a movie for next summer, and then we have some mistakes in some Marvel movies. So let's just go ahead and get started. Welcome back, everyone. So let's just go ahead and hop into this. So at, I believe it's called CCXP. It's a basically a Comic-Con in Brazil. Yeah. And uh, Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios was there to show us some new stuff, uh, one of which was Eternals, which uh, is a movie I'm really excited about. And reading the comics, it's pretty convoluted, so I'm, yeah. very, uh, I'm very interested to see how they kind of pan that out. Yeah. But basically, uh, according to Collider, who I assume was there because they described the whole thing, uh, they basically it was a real quick, uh, rough footage that they showed. It uh, showed all the Eternal characters kind of just um, doing Eternal things, you know. Like they showed, I believe how you pronounce it, is Druig, and he is in the comics at least is a bad guy. He's an Eternal, and he kind of um, he kind of played like a Russian um, dictator. In the comic, okay. um, Neil Gaiman did, and I think it was 2006. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, they showed off uh, some of him, and they showed off obviously Angelina Jolie's uh, Athena, and then also you have Icarus, which is played by uh, Richard Madden from mm-hmm. uh, Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. And they said one of the takeaways was, I guess, how they filmed it looks it's stunning. They, yeah. they said it was beautiful. Yeah. Um, the takeaway long shots are really cool looking, and they said everything's obviously inspired by uh, mythological armor. And they said there's all their suits look really cool. So yeah. um, it's a movie I'm really excited about. And if they pulled off, <laughs> it sounds ambitious. Yeah, it sounds really ambitious. Well, so. Kevin Feige was quoted to say, you know, Collider quoted him at the convention. They, uh, he said the movie will be unlike anything you've ever seen before, and what happens will redefine and change the MCU in Phase Four. So interesting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, before this movie, I believe yeah. it's just uh, Black Widow. So yeah. Um, I think so because that's in May and then this one's in November. Yeah. So, so anyway, that uh, that sounds really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's really exciting. And yeah. uh, also at, at CCXP, Kevin Feige was talking about WandaVision, the upcoming show from Disney Plus, and he said that Scarlet Witch will, or excuse me, Wanda Maximoff will have that moniker Scarlet Witch by in this show. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of cool. Uh, don't, I think it was a rights issue with Fox. Yeah, probably before. That's why they couldn't. They couldn't even say mutant. Yeah. In, in Age of Ultron, they're like, oh, they're gifted. So yeah. It's like, uh, and Feige also commented that Moon Knight, She Hulk, and Miss Marvel will be at the will be done with production by the end of 2020. So that's that's yeah that's pretty farther, ambitious. Yeah. So yeah, like that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm excited about that. Uh, Mainly for Moon Knight, she all looks interesting. That could be that could be fun. Yeah, Miss Marvel. The comics are good, so I'm interested to see how they do that and kind of tie that together. Because uh, I would say her and She Hulk will be the most CGI heavy show oh, yeah, compared sure. to Moon Knight. That's yeah. more of like a Daredevil thing, and mm-hmm. um, you know, obviously he has a huge you know plane. Uh, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, but Miss Marvel, she can basically just stretch. Yeah, and she's Mister Fantastic mm-hmm. and yeah. turn giant too. And yeah. So it'd be interesting to see what's going on with that. We'll see. I know she's in a human. So. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and with Scarlet Witch, you know, like with uh, uh, Wanda Maximoff, I wonder, like, what's that even mean if she officially has that title? Like, she just gets a tiara. Yeah. And, like, she's not, she's definitely uh, not going to wear that costume they have in the comics. No. no so no. I think she's actually <laughs> said that in the past. She's like, there's no way I'm wearing that. So. Marvel just dumps a dump truck full of money in front yeah. of her. It's like, we'll see. All right. All right. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, and so finally, to round things off, was MovieMistakes.com actually just awarded Marvel two awards you don't really want. Um, and those awards are obviously the title of the website, it's Movie Mistakes. So some of the um, the biggest movies of 2019 with the most movie mistakes was Captain Marvel at number one yeah. and Avengers Endgame at number two. Captain Marvel apparently um, it looks like it had 59 mistakes and Avengers Endgame had 51. So... 
if, uh, now Avengers Endgame I can kind of understand because they're going back in time and, and yeah. they have to basically like keep all the movies all tied together anyway so you might have mistakes like that um, I was reading through Cats and Marvel's mistakes and really they weren't even that big yeah it wasn't that big a deal yeah, uh, yeah and they like, said oh this is in 96 not 95 uh, yeah in the movies uh, in the stupid. blockbuster yeah. they're like uh, well actually Starship Troopers came out in 91 yeah, like, uh, <laughs> shut up nerd I'm yeah like, no so one cares. it's just uh, little details like yeah. that and it just um you know, it's fun to read about like yeah. all the little details, but at the same time, it's just like, who cares? Yeah, so, we don't. Yeah, we don't really care. It's fine with us. I know. Yeah, well, this movie's good. Yeah, we don't really care. Right. So, uh, yeah, really, that's all we have for this week. Uh, stay tuned for a video that we're doing this week, and we will be reviewing the uh, new board game. It's Marvel Crisis Protocol. Yeah, it's our our lamest holiday shopping guide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is up there. So, you know, a little yeah. tease is it's definitely good, and uh, we weren't prepared to build miniatures or paint them. So. Well, we weren't. Yeah. But, uh. <laughs> but he was. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll uh, catch you guys soon. Thanks so much. Stay lame. See ya.